Hello gentlemen, today we're going to start a new series where I play Mutt using a gold squad. Now this is going to be extremely painful to start because, well, gold cards really suck. And there's a lot of pretty much max speed cards out there. And there's pretty much zero chance I'm going to win games with the gold squad. But the way I'm going to actually progress and upgrade my team is just by kind of doing stats and just kind of hopefully keeping these games close. And uh, that way I can upgrade my team through the season pass with the cars that they provide as well as the packs that they provide. So as soon as I get a little bit better of a team, I'll go to Mutt head to head and then get better rewards there. But I'm really bored of the game right now. I needed a new challenge, something fun to do. And I thought this was like a good idea. Don't worry, I'm still going to be focusing on tips and stuff because that is what I do. But I thought this would be a fun series to kind of incorporate some gameplay and maybe give you guys some ideas on how to compete with worse teams against people who have much better teams in MUD. Okay, so what we're going to do in this first episode is really just talk about the team. So we're just going to kind of make our team with gold cards, and I'll explain some of the reasoning behind it. I won't go too in-depth because it really isn't that important. They're just kind of shitty gold cards. If you look in the top right, I'm just sitting on 6.5 million. I sold my team, and I just don't feel like sweating this game. Just uh, It's kind of stale. The meta's boring. So we're going to see what we can do with this team. So what we're going to do is start off with our quarterback. I've already picked all these cards out. My starter is going to be Justin Fields. He does have 83 speed, which is okay. It's, you know, not going to outrun anybody on the defense, not even like defensive tackles. But, you know, I'd rather have a faster quarterback than not. And I also like right-handed quarterbacks. Now for our wide receiver one, we're going to use Quez Watkins. He does have... The fastest speed for a gold card, 86 speed. For wide receiver two, we're going to go ahead and go to Jalen Tolbert, if I can find him. Here he is. 85 speed, just one less than Quez. And then for wide receiver three, we are going to go ahead and roll with... Mr. Perry, if I can find him. 6'5 AT Perry. As for our backfield, we're going to go ahead and roll with the fastest gold running back in the game, which is Chase Brown. And our backup running back is going to be Kendra Miller. He's a more of a power back. And I'll probably use him on the goal line a little bit more, even though it probably doesn't matter. Uh, these guys all suck, which... I've said before, but I just really want to make that very clear that these cards are ass. Uh, so the fullback will be Franco Harris, and that's going to round out our backfield. Now, as for the offensive line, I think we all know that this doesn't really matter too much. But we're going to start with Note Boom at left tackle. We're going to use Lakin Tomlinson at left guard. And really the reasoning behind the offensive line picks is they're all 79 overall. Ryan Jensen at center. Just kind of max out the overall as much as we can within the rules of what we're trying to do. James Daniels at right guard. And then to round this out, Jack Conklin at right tackle. So none of these have thresholds. You know, they're all under 80 pass blocking. So they're not going to block a soul, especially against... You know, pre-lit X-Factors are probably just going to run through these guys. But better have 79s than, you know, lower. So, And then uh, to finish off our offense, we're going to go ahead and roll with Noah Gray, who's actually kind of decent. 84 speed for a tight end. Gold card. We'll take it. Tight end number two is going to be Mr. Cox. And then for tight end three... We will roll with Kate Otten. Okay, so here's a final look at the offense. Let's go ahead and move over to defense now. We'll just try to get through this very quickly. Uh, the defensive line, we're going to go ahead and start with Nick Benito, 81 speed. You know, it's really not going to be that helpful. I think in contains, he might do a decent job, but overall 81 speed at this point in the year is just really not that great. But on the opposite side, we're going to go ahead and use... The fastest gold card, which is going to be Nolan Smith. Very bad block shedding at 56, so 
Never going to hold an edge, but we're probably going to pinch our D-line most of the time anyways. At DT1, we're going to roll with Javon Curse. The main reason for this is 78 block shedding, which is, again, not very good, but it is really good compared to the other gold cards that are available. And then for his backup, we're going to use Will Anderson. And similar block shedding, 75, 77 speed, pretty decent. Now let's talk about the secondary. So I'm going to be running a lot of dollar. So I need to have some decent cornerbacks or at least as good as I can get. So we're going to run four cornerbacks because that's what we have in dollar. And our number one cornerback is going to be Caleb Farley with 87 speed, 6'2". I mean, this is really as good as it gets for a gold card. He was a guy that had to be on the squad. Might be the best player we have on defense. Across from him, let's go ahead and put James Pierre, 86 speed, 6 foot. These cards will get outran if I press, so I cannot really press. You're going to see once we get to the gameplay what I have to do to somewhat contain some offenses. For the first slot cornerback, let's go ahead and put Nixon. And then at the fourth spot, Michael Carter. So all of those have 86 speed. Farley does have 87. As for the safeties, we're going to put cornerbacks there because we do need the fastest safeties to be our user. So we'll put Clay Brooks at free safety. He does have 86 speed. He is kind of short at 5'9". Hopefully we can upgrade these safeties pretty quickly. And we'll put Roby here at the strong safety. So 83 and 84 speed, or sorry, 86 speed and 84 speed. So since we're going to be in dollar for most of the game, or really all of the game to start, uh, linebackers are really just special teamers. We're not going to be using 3-4 odd or 6-1 or whatever because that's just going to be trash without Lurk Artist. So we'll go ahead and go to Specialist and round out the starting defense by going to Sub Linebacker. And our user is going to be Daxton Hill, 85 speed. He'll do just fine except not really, I'm coping. I'm going to not lurk a single thing with him, but he's the fastest option really at safety. And then at the second linebacker position or sub linebacker, we're gonna use Israel Mukuamu. I think that's how you say his name. So that's the starting defense. Now let's just go ahead and fill in the linebackers real quick, which again, these are basically special teamers. We'll use Boye Mafi. On the other side of him, we'll use Byron Young. And these guys are really just all speed guys. Starting linebacker, Troy Anderson. And then for the backup spot, Sean Bradley. All right, boys, get a good look at the final squad. This is what it looks like after I kind of filled some roster spots. I'm not going to talk about all of the backups. They're not really important. But this is going to be what we're rolling with. Now, let's be real. This team's looking dangerous. We're going to do numbers in Mutt once we hop into our first game. But that is going to come in Episode 2. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you guys know when that video goes live. It's going to come up very soon. And it's going to be funny. I mean... Let's be real. This team is just complete trash. And I'm just hoping to lose by less than 21. That's going to be my goal. Now, the final price of this team comes out to 73,550 coins, which is a little bit more than I wanted to spend. Not because I'm cheap, but kind of because I'm cheap. But really, uh, 2,000 coins per card, not that bad. Because I think I filled out 39 spots total. So... Yeah, like 2,000, a little bit less than 2,000 coins each. A couple guys I overpaid for just because I didn't want to wait for more cards to be open. But we can live with 73,550 when we're sitting on 6.5 million coins. And we'll go ahead and see what we can do with this team. So again, episode 2 is going to drop soon with gameplay. And you guys will see what playbooks I'm running in that video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.